Welcome to another JavaScript interview exercise. In this video, we are gonna translate an SQL query to map, reduce, and filter JavaScript calls. You can see an inventory and a characters array on screen. Let's see what kind of fields the inventory and the characters have. Or in fact, we could just create some tables so that we visualize these arrays a bit better. So I'm gonna write console.table inventory and console.table characters. There you go. And you can see at the top the fields. We have an ID, an owner, a name, a weight, and a value for each and every item in an inventory. We have two swords and a shield. And similarly to how role-playing games work, we also have a couple of characters. Obviously, I place myself in the example as the first character, and then there is Ron and Jack as well. Characters also have an ID, a name, the number of points. These could be, for example, experience points where we can level up. And we have an experience level as well. Now, some of these fields will not be important at all. We won't really care about all of the fields. You can see the SQL query on screen. This is what we need to realize using simple map reduce and filter calls. So select characters.name. The value of the inventory items belonging to a character has to be summed and returned as total value. And we need to involve the characters and the inventory table where the characters.id field equals the inventory.owner field. By the way, in database terms, the owner is a foreign key. And obviously the IDs are keys or primary keys in the database table. So when we join the two objects, we will match the foreign key of one of the tables to the primary key of the other table. Just saying that this is what's going to happen at the end. According to the exercise, you're not allowed to use loops, if statements, logical operators or the ternary operator. All you can use is map reduce filter and some simple operators. All right, let's get started with the exercise. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we'll check what will happen to characters if we map them in a way that we have a character and we return the name of the character because in the SQL statement, we need to do this. This is called projection, by the way. We project a character with all attributes to just one attribute. You can see the three names appear on screen. In fact, I could move this to the top so that you can see the results better. Now, we need to make this a bit more complex. So instead of returning just the character that name, we have to do something else. Because beyond the name, we also have to find the items that belong to the characters with the given name. So at the end, the return value is going to be nothing else but the character name, so name c.name, this is what we're gonna return, and we're gonna just uh, return the item count as an experiment, we will just settle for the count and then we'll modify it to the sum of the value of the items. So let's see how we can get the item count. First of all we need to return the items belonging to character c. We can do it with a filter call, so we, call the in so we check the inventory.filter, inside the filter we're gonna join the foreign key of the item so we have first item and the item has an owner and this should be equal to the id of the character that we chose to so see that id this filtering selects the items that have an owner equal to the id of the character that we're looking for for now just for execution we will write items dot length in here in the item count so that we get a data structure. After the execution, you can see the results. In fact, we could also add the console.table around it because then you'll be able to see it more easily. There is a name and the item count. I have two items, Ron has one item and Jack has zero. This matches our perception of the input. Let's see the input once more. So you have the inventory. If you want to see the character IDs, you can console the table of characters. You can see that I have the ID 1, Ron has the ID 2, so everything seems to be working correctly so far. Let me write this solution on screen once more so that you can see the result. This is not the end result yet. 
because instead of the item count, we want the sum of the value of the items. So this is what we're gonna do. Once more, here is the preliminary solution on screen. And now we have to create the sum. So instead of the item count, we're gonna have the total value. And our job is to calculate the total value. So instead of the items, we're gonna have the total value in here. Let me format the code a bit so that it's gonna be readable. So you see the filtering operation. After the filtering, the return value is gonna be an array and we can perform other operations on these arrays. So other map reduce and filter calls can be chained after this inventory.filter. In order to sum the elements, we need an other function. This function is called reduce. Reduce reduces an array to one value. And this is what we're gonna need in here because we just need to calculate the sum. The first argument of reduce is a function. This function has two arguments. The first argument is a sum, which is an accumulator variable. Reduce goes through the array element by element. And after each element, this sum accumulator value is updated and passed forward to the next iteration of the reduce. This is very much like a for loop, by the way. And the second argument is the next item. Uh, this is the input and uh, we will have to describe the return value now. So how are we going to calculate the temporary sum? We have the item.value, obviously, that is going to be added to the preliminary sum, which is this sum accumulator value. Once more, the first argument of reduce is a function which has two input arguments, sum and item, and you can see the return value. After this function, there is a second argument to reduce, which is the initial value. And this is zero. I formatted it in a weird way so that you can see what belongs to where. So here I'm gonna highlight this function. This is a simple function that's executed for each and every element of the reduction. And this is the initial value. So the sum is gonna be initially zero, and then the items are gonna be summed one by one adding item.value to the total. So for example, if the first item has a value of 50, then we add this 50 to the sum zero, and uh, the temporary sum is going to be 50. Then imagine that we have a second item with a value of 100. In this case, we're gonna call this function again. The temporary sum is gonna be 50 because this is what has been accumulated so far and the item is going to have a value of 100. So here we're going to sum 100 and 50, and, the, and then the return value is going to be 150. If there are other items in the list, then the third item would get 150 in the sum, and so on and so forth. So this is the way how we calculate the total value. Let's execute the code. Whoa, everything is working as expected right away. So you can see the total values, 150 for me, 150 for Ron. Hmm, his sword might be quite expensive. Let's see the items once more, just to make sure that everything was correct. Yes, uh, the this sword costs 150, and these two items were mine, the sword and the shield, and the sum of the values is indeed 150. This is the solution to the exercise. You can see the full solution on screen. Just marinate on one thing before we finish this video. Check out the SQL statement and compare and contrast the SQL statement and the map reduce filter solution. They are very similar in nature and there is a mapping that we can use to write SQL in terms of map reduce filter or we can translate the MapReduce filter back to SQL. I hope you liked the exercise. This was exercise 20, by the way, in my book ES6 in practice. So if you're interested in 19 other exercises, check out my book. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel because you're gonna get weekly updates on topics related to developing maintainable web applications, mostly in JavaScript, but I'm open to dealing with other languages as well. See you in the next video, take care.